All right, here he is where you can kind of see a better detail of him. <laughs> all right, I'm going to stop the tape and show you all the mechanics of this. Okay, this is the mechanics, which is so easy, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Basically, I have a Lazy Susan that I put on a board, and I have an, one cylinder that's a single acting, I think it's about three inches, and then a bungee cord hooked up to a screw. Let me move this over here so you can see the bungee cord. See the bungee cord? And it's just hooked up to the back of the board there. The cylinder is simply just pushing the Lazy Susan and that's all it does. The bungee cord is what returns it because it's a single acting. Alright, so let me fire it up and you can see it. Now the big uh, cement block is because it tends to creep backwards. <laughs> So uh, I weighed it down and, and now it's no problem. Okay, now I also want to show you how simple pneumatics are hooked up and then how the DMX system is hooked up. If you look at the cylinder, there is an air line that's coming out of the back of the cylinder and it goes into that little blue thing with the little black thing attached to it. That little blue thing is the valve and that's what opens and closes the air that is coming from that orange wire. The black thing is called the solenoid, and that transmits the power saying open up and close up. Okay, so that's what those two things are. And, and that the little wire coming out of here, that goes to the power. Okay, now I'm going to show you how the DMX tells it to turn on and off. Now, by the way, some people use DMX to, to tell it to go on and off, some people use a trigger. And they just punch it or they use a, uh, a motion sensor all kinds of other things to tell that solenoid to fire away okay again I'm going to show you how that signal coming from the DMX tells the solenoid to fire so I'm going to follow the power wire which I had to extend with an extension cord <laughs> and follow it up it's the green one and it goes up to my DMX relay and it is plugged into channel 1. That says address 1 so I set this to be at address 1. Ta-da! Alright now how does it get that information to the, from the computer? Well if we follow down here this is where the DMX cables in and out come from. By the way this is simply just the power cord for this. Okay so that's plugged into the power. Anyway, it's got DMX in, DMX out. Now I'm going to do the DMX in because that's what's coming from the computer. So we follow that cord and it's a long cord. <laughs> and it then connects into a 5 pin to 3 p.m. pin adapter, DMX adapter. That box there is the NTEC. Oh, let me turn this over so you can see it. That's the NTEC Open Pro, DMX Pro and it comes out 5 pin and so you use this little adapter to, to go to the 3 pin which is what almost all the DMX cables seem to come in. Okay so then it uses this, this is a USB wire so here we go we're gonna follow it to the computer and voila we're in the USB section of the computer and there is the program VSA. So I'm gonna fire this program up so you can see what it looks like when it runs this is the little cylinder commands telling it to fire and that's just the whole play action now down here DMX dimmer strobe DMX red green blue because it's a RGB light so I tell it like I wanted it to be kind of a yellow so I put red and green together when you turn those on it's a yellow color yellow green depending on how much green you put in there and then later on I wanted it to turn a little bit into a white so I added blue for a second. Now up here DMX dimmer strobe that tells it if I want it to be a dim light, a bright light, or a strobing light and you'll see in the program you see I used a lot of strobing because I thought it was scarier. And that's all the commands I used, just a cylinder, DMX strobe, red, green. 
Okay, now I'm going to bring up the actual command that I had put in this program. So I'm going to double click on this and it brings this up. And this says that I made it a pulse bar, that I wanted it to pulse to full on, which is 255. That's how you program it. Here is the strobe command. That one's a linear bar. And I had it start at on, which is 128, and then fast strobe, which is just one notch down, 127. So it first starts to be on, and then it strobes. And it'll keep that command until I tell it to do a different command. Like if I click on this one, this one tells it to slow down on the strobing. This one tells it to speed up on the strobing and then slow down. And you know, whatever you want to do. Okay, I'm going to bring up the red. This one was no red to 100, which is like half red. Remember, it's 0 to 255 for that. 255 is bright red. Because I wanted this to be a green yellow, I have lower red. And again, it'll keep that position until I tell it to do another position. So this will be kind of like a dim red, stay on. And then here I tell it to go a little brighter, so it was a more vivid yellow. And then down here I told it to slowly turn off. Okay, now how do I get sound to it? Well, this one, I didn't use my Exorcist yet. I just wanted to just do a basic program. But how to get the sound is, you know, out of your headphone jack, you have the sound coming down to the subwoofer, which is kind of like the central command down here. It also has an on-off for the stereo. But then I just splice off the speakers. Simple as that. There's the DMX light, by the way. Now how that gets its DMX signal is, let me start back at the DMX relay. Okay, I'm at the DMX relay. Remember I was just focusing on DMX in? Well, now I'm gonna focus on DMX out. This DMX in is commanding this, but I also have a DMX light, so we have a little bit of a bypass DMX out. That has nothing to do with these, challenge, these channels, by the way. This is just coming through the daisy chain. So you follow the cord, down to the light and it plugs in again DMX in DMX out now because this uh, this is the, the end of my DMX chain this is a DMX terminator and this just tells the DMX signal hey this is the end of the line buddy simple as that this is a close-up of boogity so I bought this completely uh, just pulled from the mold there was no latex on it yet it was just simply a foam piece that I latex then used spider webbing dipped in the latex and stuck it on and then did a whole lot of paint washes but it's amazing that the, this particular paint scheme which is basically green and yellow looks great I think it looks really spooky anyway I just wanted to show you a close-up of boogity I really like them <laughs>